I've been growing peppermint in the garden specifically for the purpose of making peppermint loose leaf tea with. It's one of my favourite teas to enjoy, but buying organic tea leaves from the bulk food store can be quite expensive, and I go through the tea leaves relatively quickly, enjoying peppermint tea on a regular basis. In summer, I like to infuse my peppermint tea with fresh pomegranate juice, making a delicious, refreshing iced tea recipe. After learning how to dry mint leaves and stems at home, I found it to be a great way to preserve mint for longer. Plus, it's usually fresher and better tasting than the store-bought varieties. Best of all, there are tons of ways to use the dried mint leaves, such as in spice mixes, sauces and dressings, for mint tea, in a homemade remineralizing tooth powder as a flavor enhancer and antibacterial herb, and more. The best time to harvest the mint leaves is just before they flower, so late spring, early summer usually. This is when their oil levels are at their peak. It's best to harvest them in the early morning before the sunlight and heat evaporate the oils. Choose leaves that are fresh, bright and green to use for drying. There are three main ways to dry mint, which include using a dehydrator, oven or to simply air dry, and I'll be showing the air drying method in this video. It's important to wash and carefully dry the mint leaves before dehydrating, just to get rid of any insects and germs. To wash the mint, add the leaves to a bowl of water and swish them gently around. Once finished, drain the water and pat the leaves dry with a tea towel or paper towel. It's important to ensure all the excess moisture has been removed before drying the mint, otherwise mold can set in. Air drying provides a low heat option for drying out the leaves, helping to preserve the nutrient profile and beneficial compounds in the mint. It's important to note that air drying will really only work in warm climates that aren't humid. A room that sits around 15 to 20 degrees Celsius or 60 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit will work best. Cold, humid climates may lead to mold growing on the mint. If you live in this type of climate, my recommendation is to use a dehydrator. To air dry the peppermint after harvesting, gather the mint, stem still attached, into a bouquet and tie the stems together with a piece of twine, string or a rubber band at the bottom. Hang the bouquet of mint in a warm, well ventilated area away from direct sunlight. You can create a hanging apparatus, tying the bouquet to a coat hanger or simply using a herb drying rack. Allow the bouquet to dry for one to two weeks or until the leaves feel dry and crumbly when touched. If you like, you can place a brown paper bag lightly over the mint to create a protective covering which can help prevent dust settling on the leaves. Once dried, transfer the leaves to an airtight jar for storage. The leaves can be stored whole, crumbled, by hand or in a food processor or blender, or as a powder, which can be achieved using a coffee or spice grinder or blended in a food processor or blender for longer. The peppermint can be stored in an airtight glass jar and will keep for up to 12 months in a cool, dark, dry place. To make the peppermint tea, add one to two teaspoons of the crushed, dried mint leaves to either a strainer, infuser, teapot, or a reusable tea bag. Place the tea bag, strainer or infuser into the teapot or saucepan and add 1-2 to two cups of boiling water. Allow the tea to steep and infuse for 3-5 to five minutes before pouring into a teacup to serve. The longer the tea steeps, the stronger the flavour will be. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Let me know if you try this recipe yourself and what you use the peppermint leaves for, I'd love to know. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon again.